Hey, it's Jackie and welcome back for another travel vlog. I'm currently in a very random little hotel in Brussels, Belgium. And in my last vlog, Tyler and I went to Rome. We went to Sorrento where we had our wedding ceremony. Positano, I went with the girls. And then Tyler and I ended the trip going to Capri. Initially, we were gonna end the trip early because after all of the wedding stuff, it was so tiring. We couldn't miss the opportunity to come back to Belgium. So we took like a taxi, two buses, a train, two flights to get over here. It was pretty exhausting yesterday. We made it to Belgium. Woo, we got all of our stuff. Next up, we're taking a train. The cobblestone's the worst part. <laughs> We did end up walking around and I started this vlog, but I felt so sick. I think just like all the travel, I needed to stay in one spot for a while, so we're restarting the vlog. And if you don't know me and Tyler's love story, we did meet here. Throwback to middle school, both Tyler and I's families ended up becoming expats in Belgium at the same time. He's from the US, I'm from Canada. We both became new kids at an international school called ISB, and we really liked each other. So we dated back in middle school, we stayed in touch for many years, and then really reconnected when I was on a brand and trip to New York City and Tyler had just moved there. So we went on a date, throwback clip. I'm gonna go reconnect with him right now. So it could be so weird. I mean, I don't know, but yeah, I'm gonna go do that now. <laughs> Why am I so nervous? <laughs> the rest is history. I ended up moving to New York. We got engaged actually during a Lost Lands Collections photo shoot. Tyler surprised me, so it was very fairy tale. And then it was amazing to have our fairy tale wedding in Italy. This trip is a little bit more low-key. We're just going around Brussels, seeing all our favorite places. We're going to Tyler's old neighborhood, our old school. Hopefully we can see the campus. And then we're also having a day in Paris. I don't have a lot to wear because I didn't expect to stay in Europe this long. So I have this on today, which is cute, but we are gonna do a bit of shopping. I'm wearing really cute shoes. Second day hair in this little pony. Let's head out. Good morning, Belgium. Hopefully I can find something really cute to wear in Paris. Time to shop. How gorgeous is this shopping center? There's long shop. I'm getting my first coffee monsieur. That's okay. So fun. getting a little cookie or a chocolate with my cappuccino. Mary's chocolates. I love the seashells. Definitely gonna get one of those boxes. So much chocolate. We love the area that we're in, but unfortunately, we didn't check if this hotel had air conditioning. So we have a fan going on. Little things we forgot about about Europe. We really should have used the site planin.com, which is a booking site where you can see recommendations from your favorite content creators, especially travel vloggers. There are way nicer hotels with air conditioning for around the same price that we paid. So we ended up switching hotels later, but I love to do reviews and itineraries over on planet.com if you want to follow me on there. Plus, you can sign up for a free account and get up to 40% off hotel bookings. We are currently busing and we're headed to our old middle school. 
So this is where we met. It's called ISB International School of Brussels, and we haven't been back in like 15 years. We're not doing a full campus tour. We'll head to the chateau. Gosh, I was so excited the first time I toured here, going into grade seven for middle school. Oh, it was something out of a dream, especially like all of the big fields they have. Like in Canada, we don't really have that. It's a bit more of an uh, Americanized school. Forest school. They said we could be here, but everything is turned off and I feel like we shouldn't be. I have pictures of us doing the like game day here. This is gonna be uninteresting to most of you, but this is so nostalgic to us, oh my gosh. A lost time in our lives because as soon as we went back to North America, we didn't like talk about it that much. Yeah. So we only shared this with like the people that we went to school with for those two, three years. I used to take vocal lessons at the school. And that's a wrap. Now we're headed to Stockwell Square, which is the area I used to live. And it does have some really good shopping. The movie theater where I saw Twilight in 2008. The old street. My old house. We're going in. <laughs> Yes, I love this. The person who's living there now just invited me in. So I got to see my old house. Tyler was hoping that would happen at his. But that was pretty cool. We're gonna go check out Stockwell Square. But the restaurant we really wanted to go to that my family loved is closed right now. So that's sad, but I'm sure we'll find an amazing place. Is it good? I want a fry, I want a fry. Smashbox lip gloss here. I did not think it would be this bad. How much per chocolate? Uh, if you choose a small bag like that, it's by weight. Okay. So the box is the size of the box. Look what you got! It's so cute! I want to give us extra. Tyler loves this place. Je m'appelle Jacqueline et bienvenue à mon Paris vlog. We are in Paris today and we actually had a very rough morning. We almost missed our train and my hair was really nicely curled, but we did some running. So this is where we're at now, but I'm so excited for today. I did it. Hey, and now we're staying in Paris. Yes. So big upgrade. This is a cultural difference. The bottles don't come off and it makes it so hard to put the lid back on. 
Safe to say I was hangry though, so we got prep and we found this park that we're sitting at, which is really beautiful. But now it's time to do some touristy things. We tried to go to Jardin. Trocadère. Trocadère. But it was closed because of the Summer Olympics. So hopefully, like, not everything's closed. <laughs> but we're going to a really cool spot where you can see the Eiffel Tower. There's like a bunch of blogger photos. thought it would be way more crowded because the Olympics are here but everything is closed off and like it feels very dead. It's kind of nice walking around but there's so many security guards and like heavy armed police. It's still gorgeous though. At the cutest cafe. This light green is my favorite. I seem to buy everything in this color. And we have some desserts for lunch. <laughs> We've been walking around like crazy. It's been really hard to find like any landmark because of the Olympics. Like everything is blocked off. Still a good day. I mean, we have good food. changing in the street. I was not liking my outfit. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Yeah. But, <laughs> new look of this. Got some my pants on. Everywhere we want to go is closed, like the Louvre, <laughs> but that's okay. It's still been a really nice day. We just checked into this tiny hotel, but look at how cute it is, and it's air conditioned. This is cute. We're only staying one night, so this is like everything we need. <laughs> no view. Bathroom. You put this on plan. I will. So I got this new outfit and look what I sat on. I don't know what I sat on. It's very sad. Oh. What the heck? A detail I can appreciate. So this is what I got shopping. First I got this cute little vest with buttons. I tend not to like this type of sleep on myself, but I'm giving it a try. Love it. And then I got these earrings to go with it, but they broke on me. This trip has been slightly cursed. We've had some mishaps, like me sitting and stuff, nothing being open. <laughs> and then I also went to this store, Pull and Bear, which I hadn't heard of before. And I just got a plain tea. This reminds me of Lindsay Lohan and Mean Girls. And then this Paris tea. I love just lounging in big t-shirts. Got on my new Sorrento flats, these white pants, and then this red sweater that I also got from Zara. We're all been a good time, so we're gonna go get some food and try to go to a garden. Yeah, Garden de Luxembourg. Garden de Luxembourg and see if it's actually open. Again, burgers. Mm. And after about 23,000 steps, I'm in the hotel again. It is so nice. Um, today was a bit of a disaster. <laughs> I'll fill you in from the beginning. So Tyler and I initially were getting up at 5 a.m. to go on the 6.30 train to Paris so that we had as much time as possible, which was gonna be way too much for us. So we thought we booked our hotel in Belgium 
until Sunday, but it was actually Saturday. So if we had gone on the 6 a.m. train, uh, all of our luggage would have been left there and I don't know what they would have done with it. So we checked out early. We left all of our luggage in Belgium in like a locked room. So hoping nothing happens to it. We got on the 11:15 train we had like two minutes to spare. We made it, uh, everything's closed. Every landmark, every iconic street, it's all closed off with tons of police, everybody's super armed. That being said, shops are still open, the streets are still stunning, and there's a lot of great food. I wanted to go to a thrift shop and get a long shop bag, like thrifted, but then I found a really good deal on Poshmark, so I was like, nah, let's just go to Zara. <laughs> so I got a couple cute, very Parisian pieces, and I always feel a little bit insecure with like, mature style i don't think i look good in it like anything that has a collar that's like button up um or like is boxier i just feel like looks really bad on me so tyler was trying to take some good pictures of me and i just was like not having them sweet girl pretty girl but maybe i'm just really tired and need to give myself a break so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this little paris vlog though it was a little random that's what happens when you book on a whim. I ended up really liking this area and I will have this cute little hotel linked down below. It's air conditioned, nice bathroom. It's really small, but super cute. I would definitely stay in this area again. The garden that we did see, absolutely stunning. And I'd never seen it before. Overall, amazing trip. I will see you guys back in Belgium. Also, if you're wondering where Tyler's at, he's running across and getting toothbrush, toothpaste, makeup wipes because we weren't initially gonna stay today. We booked it on the train. I think he's here now. We're back. This is a museum where they keep all of his little outfits. So in a uh, in French and in uh, Flemish, in Dutch. We're at yet another hotel. It's our last night in Belgium, and we went to Belgian National Day. And it was a little bit strange. There was tons of military recruitment, and I know military is important, but it was uh, quite a strange sight to see with like all these tanks, and they had like bloody body dummies, but then kids were like smiling and jumping all over them. So we walked around, but we were super tired. We couldn't actually check in till four and we got in super early from Paris this morning. So I don't think I've ever looked so disheveled for like a full day in public. If you happen to see me, which the odds are low, but um, no, you didn't because it was rough. But here we are. It was my cousin, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's my go-to line. Thanks so much for watching. If you want to see any of the hotels that we stayed at, we definitely went budget friendly for this end of the trip. I will have everything linked down below in my plan in. I love to do reviews. You can also see more of my itinerary and things to do over on my blog as well as all my beauty articles as well. Wanna say bye? Bye. 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 <laughs>